Hey Toolnuts, Doug here from Toolnut.com. Today in this video we're going to be going over the new Flexvolt DeWalt rear handled framing saw. Woo! Lots of uh, adjectives, right? Not too many. Not too many. Needed though. So I am very excited personally about this one. I've been waiting for a while. Did you say brushless? Did you say brushless? I didn't say brushless. Say brushless. Thanks Sean. Sean's running the camera today guys. Say hi. 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 Say brushless. <laughs> brushless, 60 volt. So seven and a quarter inch blade. We figured we'd open this, do something a little different and open it on camera. So had this for two days and like a kid on Christmas, I've been wanting to open this, but we figured we'd do it on camera. So again, seven and a quarter circ saw. Looks like a worm drive. It's worm drive like. It's not geared. It's a direct drive motor. Don't miss the blade. This is common with a lot of brands. It's on the bottom of the box. People throw the box out, realize they don't have the blade yet, and it's too late because the garbage man picked it up. So make sure you get that. Uh, so let's go through this baby here. Magnesium base, nice heavy duty. It looks like it's like a worm drive. They got the diamond already cut out here. So most seven and a quarter, 24 tooth blades, if that's your choice, not 24 inch, you'll have that option where you can knock the diamond out or you can leave it in, you know, standard blade will work on this. So some of the specs on this are, and I'm gonna use my cheat sheet here. So you got uh, bevel capacity is at 90 degrees, uh, capacity at 45, uh, degree cut is an inch and seven eighths. Okay, the capacity at 90 is two and seven sixteenths. Uh, so good cutting capacity on there, pretty much standard. Uh, electric brake that's going to help with your runtime on your battery, uh, so it's not consistently running. And if you put it down, um, that's also good. Uh, rear handle, like I said, direct drive. Uh, and this works with the flex volt batteries. So I have a bare tool here. You can buy this three different ways. So quick adjust here on your capacity, which is nice. On the bevel, it's uh, zero to 53. And you do have a 22 and a half uh, stop there too, which is nice. So we have a nine amp hour battery here. Again, this is a bare tool. You can buy it three different ways in kits. Pretty quick on that uh, break there. Hey, PJ, get in here. Come here. Come say hello. PJ. Hey, say folks. Hello. Hey, folks. What do you think? Looks pretty impressive, man. Pretty nice, right? Yeah. So, put a nine amp hour battery in here. The thing I always like to show. Big boy. You can use the flex volt batteries on the existing 20 volt line. Just remember you can't use a 20 volt battery though on the flex volt tools. So it works one way, but not the other. You know, the weight to balance is really nice on this. Um, and about Big close. Rafter. Yeah, there you go. Nice point there. Comes with the rafter hook. All right, through uh, some movie magic, let's make some cuts with this baby. And uh, we'll be back in a couple minutes. Okay, so as promised, we're outside. We're ready to make our cut with the new Flexvolt 7 and a quarter worm-like saw. That's pretty good to be able to just jam it in there and it's still uh, not bogging up. So that passed my test because other, other brands that we've uh, had before try to do that it's gonna jam right up so that's what I really want to test uh, give us a second we're gonna set up for uh, plywood quick rip on that and we'll be right back all right so we got the uh, nicest piece of plywood or scaffold insert we could find to make this cut so uh, here we go do it again Thanks again, this is Doug from Toolnut.com. For this and other videos, please go to Toolnut TV.
Bye. The new DeWalt worm saw. Jam it in there. Jam it in there.